Hello, I'm Alan Moffitt, a former director of the American Board of Orthodontics. The board has asked me to review the measurement instruments used on the ABO clinical exam, the discrepancy index form, or DI, and the CAST radiographic evaluation form, or CRE VAL. The board's intention is to provide you with a visual demonstration of the technique for both forms. This presentation can be utilized by the orthodontist who is just learning the process or one who is simply reviewing the procedures. Even though the purpose of the measurement instruments is to provide as objective as possible evaluation of pre- and post-treatment orthodontic records, there is still an element of judgment necessary by the operator. Therefore, the board strongly encourages you to practice measuring casts of your own cases. Yes, it, it does take a little time at first, but you will learn to use both measurement instruments and gain confidence in your ability to more accurately evaluate your records. To get the most out of this demonstration, I would suggest that you actually measure along with me on a case of your own. I will divide the presentation into two portions. The first demonstrating the discrepancy index form and the second demonstrating the cast radiographic evaluation form. With each form, I will suggest the supplies and the tools that you will need to perform the tasks. Another way to use this video may be to review only one or a few sections that may be unclear to you. For example, you may be uncertain on how to measure the buccolingual inclination parameter on the CR eval form. Simply fast forward the video to that particular section and observe only that one demonstration. Finally, you may simply just observe the video. So use it as you believe will help you the most. Now let us begin. I will now discuss and demonstrate the measurement of the nine major categories for the discrepancy index form. The tenth category, other, uh, I will not discuss the entire list of entities on that form, only emphasize a few. I would su suggest that you gather the following items prior to beginning the demonstration. A copy of the DI form and the accompanying instruction sheet which you may obtain from the ABO's website, which is www.americanboardortho.com. In addition, gather records of one of your patients, the casts, the CEF with tracing, and intraoral photographs. Have a 0.5 millimeter thick mechanical pencil. Also, the ABO measurement gauge. To measure the cephalometric head film, you will need acetate paper, a protractor, and a light box if you have a radiographic film. Also, a 0.5 millimeter thick black felt tip pen may come in handy, as I will show you. Now, if you're digital for the head film, you need to make certain that the, your software system can measure the cephalometric relationships that the board specifies. If not, print out a copy of the radiograph and trace it the old-fashioned way. If you are digital for the casts, your software should contain the ABO icon that allows the discrepancy index measurement of the initial casts. Then you can simply enjoy the video. I will be using several different pretreatment casts since one set of records will not demonstrate all the different categories and some specific aspects that I want to share with you. For your best visualization, I'm going to place the camera over my right shoulder, a view not unlike what you would have if you were here in the room with me and observing as I measure the casts. Now, how is this view? Here is the DI form 
the instructions I have nearby also. I have the pencil, the ABO gauge, and here is the first set of casts. I will begin at the top of the left hand of the form with the category overjet. Now let's read the instructions. Look at your sheet or on the screen. Overjet is a measurement between two antagonistic incisor teeth, comprising the greatest overjet and is measured from the facial surface of the most lingual tooth, maxillary or mandibular, to the middle of the incisal edge of the more facially positioned tooth, maxillary or mandibular. For overjet 0 to 0 0.9 millimeters, which is edge to edge, one point is scored. For overjet of 1 to 3 millimeters, no points are scored. For 3.1 to 5 millimeters, two points are scored. For 5.1 to 7 millimeters, three points are scored. For 7.1 to 9 millimeters, four points are scored. And if over 9 millimeters, five points are scored. If there is a negative overjet into your crossbite, the score is recorded as one point per millimeter per anterior tooth in crossbite. Here is the visual example of the range of overjets within the overjet category. I will begin with a set of casts number two that are not that severe, but will allow me to demonstrate measurement of a couple of categories. Before I do a DI, I will actually take the ABO measurement instrument, and I will mark the 5 millimeter and the 10 millimeter so that I can more easily visualize the millimeter readings. I use a half millimeter black felt tip pen. Naturally, this isn't permanent, on the metal. It will wipe off easily. So I will count one, two, three, four, five, and I will mark, if it will mark, there we go, and then one, or six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so what that allows me to do is to easily, or more easily, I think, read the measurement uh, using this millimeter end of the um, uh, ABO gauge. Now let's measure the most severe overjet and it's between the right centrals here. I will place the tip on the facial surface of the mandibular right central and measure to the middle of the incisal edge of the maxillary right central. So this particular measurement is 6.5 millimeters. I place that down, look over here at the DI form, and 6.5 millimeters is, is between the 5.1 and 7 millimeter reading, which would give you three points. I usually would just circle that. And then you can put uh, the measurement down here totally if that's the only, the most severe overjet. So I'm going to put down. Three on the uh, on the form. Now we will move to the next category on the DI, and that is overbite. For overbites of up to three millimeters, no points are scored. If the overbite is between 3.1 to 5 millimeters, two points are scored. If between 5.1 to 7 millimeters, three points are scored. If the lower incisors are impinging on the palatal tissues and are 100% overbite, then five points are scored.
I'm going to use the same set of casts. The left centrals have the deepest overbite of the incisor teeth. What I will oftentimes do is take the half millimeter uh, uh, diameter lead pencil, mechanical pencil, and in this case place it and make a mark that I think relates to the edge, okay? Then I separate the casts. Now you can see the light marking on the tooth. Take the ABO tool and use the millimeter marking in to read the distance. So I measure uh, four millimeters. If we look back at, at the DI form, form again, under the overbite, four millimeters fall between 3.1 and five millimeters, and that equals two points. So we will score two points on our uh, DI form.